Like every year, a military parade with marching bands and flyovers mark Taiwanese National Day. But this year's celebrations follow a summer of heightened tensions between Taipei and Beijing. And President Tsai Ing-wen used the occasion to send a strong message. Military confrontation with mainland China is categorically not an option, but nor will the island make any concessions on its self-governing status. The broadest consensus among the Taiwanese people and our various political parties is that we must defend our national sovereignty and our free and democratic way of life. On this point, we have no room for compromise. But the People's Republic of China considers the island an integral part of their territory. Tensions escalated in August after a U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's state visit to the island. Hours after she left, China announced a program of military drills at air and at sea, encircling the island over five days, some only 20 kilometers from the Taiwanese coast. With the world's largest standing army and a huge arsenal of missiles, China is the Goliath to Taiwan's David. Speaking to her people, but no doubt also to the international community, she used her speech to vaunt the island's new defense strategy. We are ramping up the mass production of precision missiles and high-performance naval vessels. In addition, we are working to acquire various small, highly mobile precision weapons that will help us develop comprehensive, asymmetric warfare capabilities, ensuring that Taiwan is fully prepared to respond to external military threats. Drawing parallels with Ukraine, she hopes that with a high-tech, agile, well-equipped military, the island could hold its own against the mainland.